Hello guys, me Carl's at the Capricorn i5 and I have some news that just broke out a couple of hours ago and and I just want to say as a motorsports fan I've been a diehard NASCAR fan but at the same time I follow Formula One too because they're always producing video games and I'm telling you let's go straight to it. Sebastian Vandal is about to retire from the 22 F1 season at the end of the year when the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix is set, you know, and I've had a lot of memories, you know, cheering him on back in the late 2000s when he had his start for Toro Rosso and yeah, and just, like, say that he's been a Red Bull driver for a long time, and then along with Ferrari, and currently now Aston Martin. Like, he's really became a good ambassador for the sport, and he had a lot of highs, but a little bit of lows, you know, and as a four-time world champion, I'm certainly going to miss him. <coughs> Sorry. And really, he would be that guy, especially a NASCAR driver like Jeff Gordon and Jamie Johnson, like set the world on fire and won a bunch of races left to right, you know, and having more than around 40 to 50 F1 victories under his belt, you know, and, yeah, I think he looked up to Michael Schumacher and wanted to emulate his success, knowing that he wanted to win everywhere, you know, like, be the first F1 driver to win at all the racetracks around the world, unless you go to Miami or Jetta or Saudi Arabia Grand Prix, whatever that is, and realize that uh, the more challenging racetracks for old people or the veterans, I'd say. I mean, he had a really successful career and really lasted for decades to come. And all I can say is. For all the motorsports fans that used to want Sebastian Vettel, you will certainly be missed. And and when I looked at my YouTube account saying, "Oh, Vettel's retiring," it came to an absolute shock, you know. But he's coming up there in age, so so let's see. He, he had a lot of friends in the paddock. He had so many people that stuck with him for a long time. And, I mean, <laughs> Lewis Hamilton was his main rival throughout the years. And I guess once he knew Lewis Hamilton surpassed him for most F1 victories, you know, of all time. Then Vettel knew, yeah, I have to step down because I have nothing to lose. And so there you have it on the announcement that Sebastian Vettel is going to retire from Formula One after this year. So I make Capricorn 95. You'll have a great day and be set.